Hey guys, today I noticed I had a minor infestation of mealybug, so I decided to make a quick video just how to treat it and how to get them to go away for good. So I just have it currently infesting these two succulents right here, and I'm gonna show you kind of what they look like and what I did to get rid of them. Also, if you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps other people find it and it's totally free to do. And if you wanna subscribe, I'm always trying to come out with new content for houseplant owners like yourself. So here are those plants in question that have mealybug on them. They've been sitting here honestly for months with this stuff on them. It kind of looks like this white cottony mass. I couldn't really see what was going on, so I wasn't worried about them and I kind of just left them to see if it became a bigger problem. And it didn't, but I decided to grab my macro lens and this is a close look up of what was growing on my succulents. Now here you can see a little droplet. That is something called honeydew. It's actually the excrement or the poo, if you will, of the mealybug. And it leaves, it's very sticky. So it can leave a mess all over your plant. If you have a severe infestation, you will notice that your plant can be very sticky on top of having these white cottony masses. So because I was curious as to what exactly was going on here, I grabbed a toothpick and I pulled off what I could. Now this is something you don't have to do. You can go straight to using a pesticide, but I just wanted to show how grabby this webbing can be of the mealybug. I pulled off what I could and then I used a pesticide treatment, which I will show you later. But as I was pulling this off, I was able to get a good look of the webbing of the mealybug and then also the mealybug itself, which I will show in just a second. Now here is that little guy that's causing all the trouble for you. These guys feed on the sap of your plant. That is how they grow and thrive and that's why they damage your plants. When I first saw him zoomed in, I was really surprised by its color. I thought all of them were white and kind of hairy looking, but it turns out there is a multitude of colors and different types of mealybug. I think mine is this one down here on the bottom that's more brown. Nevertheless, he is still the same as his other friends and he sucks out the sap out of my plants especially that new growth and to get rid of them I will show you in just a second that you can apply a pesticide as well as removing them manually I promise I'm almost done with these gross close-ups but here are the mealybug babies I honestly couldn't even tell what they were except they were a little brown mass just for a size reference this is what the adult mealybug looked like in real life and over here those are the little mealybug babies they are so small now here are my plants after I've removed all the mealybug that I could. It was rather gross, a lot of them just smushed onto my paper towel. This is something that you don't have to do. You can get a cotton swab and a toothpick and remove them manually, or you can just go straight to using a pesticide. I use neem oil, it's organic, I'm familiar with it, and it works really great against a lot of houseplant pests. So I simply generously sprayed some neem oil onto my succulents and if I notice them coming back, I will simply spray them again until they stop coming back. So we have our finished ones that we've been treating and hopefully after what I've done, the infestation doesn't come back. I'm gonna be continually treating it with neem oil to make sure that that doesn't happen and I'll keep a close eye on it. But if you have an infestation that's bigger than this, which is probably likely since this one was so small, just keep treating it with neem oil, keep pulling off those bugs with a cotton swab or with a toothpick, whatever you're more comfortable with. And pretty soon these bugs will be gone and they won't be pestering you anymore. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.